Hi, my name is Liam Clinoff. I'm a professor of performance science here at Swansea University and a member of the programme team who will be delivering on this uh, MSc in Advanced Sports Performance Science. The aim of this short video is to give you an overview of some of the contents, one of the modules called Current Concepts in Advanced Sport Performance Science. So a bit of a module synopsis. The way this module is going to work and the content is going to give you the skills to try and identify key performance issues faced by practitioners and coaches and athletes working in elite and professional sport, and then give you a toolbox of potential solutions that can be used and applied to help athletes perform to their optimum um, at various different competitions. We'll be drawing upon concepts from a range of different performance science disciplines with a particular emphasis on sports physiology and biomechanics. In terms of module syllabus, we're gonna kind of focus on four key performance domains. So the first two up there you can see is very much focusing on understanding competition demands. So it's using uh, and constructing um, a performance plan using key performance science data. So trying to use data to enhance your understanding of competition um, and what the, and how the athletes need to be prepared best for competition. Once you understand the competition demands, we then go through the theory and practice of advanced training methods. So again, um, how you develop athletes to be fit for purpose and ready to compete for your various different sports. We know recovery is a key element of elite and professional sport nowadays due to increased competition demands, increased training demands. So therefore, this module will take you through all the current recovery guidelines um, and recovery modalities and make sure you understand both the theory behind them um, and also how best to apply them in, in the real world. We'll also focus then on competition day strategies. So as a practitioner, you can still have a positive influence on your athletes on the day of competition. Um, and it's something we do a lot of work here in Swansea on. Um, we will talk, take you through uh, a variety of different strategies um, that you can use on the day of competition. And also we'll put into context of things like environmental conditions um, to ensure you understand what strategies can be used uh, when. And then finally, uh, we're going to anchor a lot of this module around key performance, um, our key competition key competitions um, and at different competitions athletes will face different performance issues uh, such as you know different um, you may have to compete at altitude maybe significant travel uh, leading into that competition there may be significant climatic conditions they need to adapt to and again this module will take you through all of the various different strategies you can utilize to ensure your athlete is best prepared finally a module assessment so it'll be, the module will be assessed in two, two ways. First is a practical report, two and a half thousand word report, where you will collect data on a specific topic and write up in a traditional report uh, paper style, which is a core skill uh, you need to develop. And then second will be a number of short reports, blogs, podcasts, trying to give you a, a, a variety of different presentation skills. Um, that you can use at various different times throughout your, your ongoing career. Um, and that will make up the other 50% of this module. So hopefully that gives you a nice insight into the, this module um, and look forward to, to seeing you soon.